Hello there, Jackie here on Fitness for Life. Today I have a wonderful, fun workout for you. We're going to combine cardio and toning moves into one exercise. We're having four exercises actually into one exercise, some of them. Some of, some of them are two moves in one exercise. We need a pair of dumbbells, lighter or heavier, depending on what you want to work with. You can also do the exercises without dumbbells, that's totally fine. Added weight is just another challenge to this workout. So we're going to start right with the warm up and I want you to come here into a side lunge. Keep this leg straight and planted on the floor with the foot and this one just sink into a side squat, one leg squat some sort of. Now I want you to turn to the side, come into a lunge, get your knee as low as you can and now I want you to reach your hands up, crescent pose, touch your hands down to the floor and come up into runner's lunge, turn to the side, to the front, toes to pointing to the front and with you touch your toes, touch your feet, grab them, keep your knees soft, feel the stretch in your hamstring. Now roll up one, one vertebra at a time, shoulders last, other side, side lunge. Turn into a lunge. Get your knee as low as you can, but don't let it touch the floor. I want you to reach your arms up, crescent pose, feel the stretch here in your quad and all over your abs. Now come down with your hands, palms to the floor, up to the ceiling with your back arm. Feel the stretch all over your back and your butt. Come to the front, to the center, point your toes to the, to the front. And I want you to touch your feet. Other side. Come to the center, roll yourself up one little bit of time. Abs really tight. Let's do this one more time here. Side lunge, lunge, drop your knee as low as you can, crescent pose, reach your arms up, come down with your palms to the floor, runner's lunge stretch, point your toes to the front, now grab your feet. Keep the knees soft, abs tight. Come to the center. There's something in my hair that bothers me. Now roll yourself up one vertebrae at a time. Shoulders last, other side. Side lunge. Really stretch it out here. Lunge, get low with your back knee. As low as you can, arms up. And come down with the palms to your foot and rotate up with your back arm to the ceiling. Follow with your eyes, abs tight. Come to the center, point your toes to the center. Now grab your foot. Walk with your palms to your left foot, knee is soft on the other side. Feel the stretch here, back, and your hamstring. Now touch your palms to the floor. Pulse one, two, three times. And roll yourself up one very big time. And shoulders last. Abs were tight. Now I want you to come into a warrior two pose. Arms strong, press your shoulders down. Look into the left arm. Left foot is pointing to the side. This Foot is flexed and pointed to the front. Now pause. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Now once you come into a forward stretch, hold that stretch for a couple counts. Now sink into a triangle pose. Hips are really stacked, okay? They're really 
try to keep them stacked at least. And this knee is soft. Look into your upper arm. Get as low as you can here with your, with your hand. You may just want to touch up to your shin. You might want to grab your ankle depending on your flexibility. Now, reach up or lift up into your lifting arm. Try to keep your hips stacked. That's the challenge here. Breathe out abs really tight. Six. Give me two more. Okay. Turn to the other side, warrior two pose. Really strong arms, press your shoulders down. Abs are tight. Tuck your navel to your spine. Now I want you to pulse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold that pose and I want you to come into a forward stretch. Lean on your thigh with your elbow for support. Stretch your obliques. Stretch out, lengthen out from your hip and your fingertips. Press your back knee into the floor, stronger. Now, come into triangle pose. Keep this knee soft. Hips, try to keep them stacked. Hold that pose just for a couple counts. Now I want you to lift up into your lifting arm. Abs really tight. Try to keep your hips stacked. Don't lock your knee here on the side. There's a lot to take care about. Great. You're doing great. Give me one more. Okay. Beautiful. Now I just want you to walk in place. And I want you to circle your arms, alternating sides, and keep on walking with your feet. That's a contradictory move here. But keep on challenging yourself. Try to lift your knees a little higher. Keep on rotating your arms. Get the blood flowing. Great job. Lift your knees even higher now. Keep on rotating. In four, three, two, one. Great. Now come here with your feet close together. Tap out right, tap out to the left. Right, left, right, left. And stay as low as you feel comfortable with, in, with your knees, but don't let your knee pass your toes. Stay safe. Watch your form. Abs are really tight. Press your shoulders down. We're going to come to the side so you can see my form. I want you to push your hips a little further out and back. That is the position that you want to maintain so that your knee is shrunken over your toes. Got that? Oh yes, you do. Great, keep on tapping out to the side in the lower, narrow squat. Now we're going to add arms and we're going to make this a low impact step jack. Looks like this, here, up, up. I want you to stay in a low squat though. Keep your knees angled, meaning stay low. Make a little level change when you reach your arms, your hands up over your head. When you tap your toes to the side, you can just raise a little higher and then you're coming down, both feet on the floor, 
sinking lower. Try to keep your shoulders down, especially when you're pulling your elbows down. Think about your shoulders getting low as well. Beautiful. Give me a couple more. And then we should be warmed up. Four, three, two, last one. Good, shake out your arms. Ah. All right. We're gonna work 20 repetitions each exercise, okay? So I'm gonna show you what the exercise is and then you just come and join me. So we're going to repeat 20 repetitions each side. If we're doing both legs or both arms, don't worry about it, we're just going for 20. And if we're going on the right side, then we're going right 20, left 20. And then after a set, the set of exercises, we're going to repeat one more round. So I want you to come here with your feet close together. I'm going to come to the side so you see I'm pressing my hips back, okay? Get up, get low, get up, get low. Feet close together, narrow squat, sit down. Okay, get used to this move here. Now I want you to come up, raise your arms, circle them up, press your palms together down to your chest. Press your shoulders down, get low. One more. Press down now, once you touch your elbow to your knee. And then come up and raise your right elbow, your right knee up with your arms. Come down again, side prayer, and come up, raise your knee. Just a knee raise. Get your arms up. Your palms are pressing together the entire time. Reach them up over your head. Your abs are really tight. Now we're having number seven. Eight. Nine. You need to keep your balance. That is one of the challenges with this move here. Squeeze, twist to the side. Touch your elbow outside of your knee if you can. Feel your abs working here, your glutes are working, your arms, your shoulders. Total body exercise. And it's not boring. We're combining two moves here. Give me one more. Great, the same thing on the other side. Circle your arms up, lengthen through your fingertips, press your palms together, come down to your chest with your palms, sink into a narrow squat. Circle one more time, up, press your palms down to your chest. Now. Touch your elbow to your knee, squeeze your abs, lift your knee up with your arm. Three, four, four. Try to lift your knee as high as you can, but keep your balance. Abs are really tight. Tuck your navel to your spine. Your weight is on your standing leg when you raise your knee. I want you to really have your body weight on the entire sole of your foot. And don't have it front, back, or center. Really on your entire foot. I do mess up here because it's a balance challenge. And when I talk and I look into the camera, I look at you, see what you're doing, and I get out of, out of balance here, but that's okay. Oh, 
right. Give me four more. Three more. Two. Last one. Great job. So that was the first move, the first exercise. The next one, we're combining more moves into one. So we here, sumo squat, point your toes to the side, come down, touch your hands on your thighs, and now give me shoulder shrug. Now I want you to come down, down into a curtsy lunge, touch down, and now lift your, your knee to the side, and now come and touch down, come back into sumo squat, shoulder shrug, curtsy with touch down, and knee raise. Okay, it might take you a little until you get the hang of it, but I'll give you one, one, one tip. Now we're here and now we raise your knee, and when you come down and touch your foot to a sumo squat, start right there with the same side and get into a shoulder shrug. There you go. Here. Curtsy, touch down, raise your knee, come with your foot on the floor and start with it right away with a shoulder shrug. Go to the other side. Curtsy, touch down, raise your knee. Other side. Oh, this really gets your inner thighs. It gets your butt, your abs, your shoulders. Great for your posture muscles as well. Beautiful. We're not jumping here, but our heart rate gets up there. We're having great level change. With knee lifts coming from low, being low, and then you lift your knee. How are you doing? Woo. My eyes, my quads are already screaming. Woo. You don't have to go quick here. We just want to keep form. We're having four more each side, I know. It's green. Three more. Two more. Each side, huh? Last one. Great job. Shake out your legs. Whew. All right. The third move. I want you to come with your feet close together as we did before in the narrow squat. I want you to come into a chair pose with V arms and back lunge with a touchdown. Chair pose with V arms, other side. And go quick. This is number two, three. Four. Five. Cardio here. Squeeze your glutes. Abs are tight. Eight, stay low, nine, shoulders are down and away from your ears, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, Whew. 16, 17, 
18. As soon as I look into the camera, I lose balance. Last one. Woo. Shake it up. Great cardio, great toning, total body. We're really kicking in here. Breathe. Woo. Beautiful. So, next move, number four. I want you to come up, raise your left knee up. I want you to jab up. Now, change sides. We're starting here. I want you to raise your knee as high as you can, but without slouching. I want you to keep your back flat, your chest open. Stay upright. Now I want you to add a toe raise, meaning I want you to roll up on the ball of your foot. You need to go slower, go slower. Just raise up on your toes without leaving the floor. It makes it harder. You may want to add a hop if you want, but I really recommend to keep this just a roll on the ball of your foot. You're using your calves here. You're really working your back thighs, your, your hamstrings, your butt. And you're getting a great cardio effect by just jabbing up and trying to lengthen your arm, your body from your hip. Really roll up on the ball of your foot. Feel your calves working. Woo. Give me four more. Three, two, one. Great job. I need to stretch out. Just a sec. Okay. The next kick, uh, the next kick, I already, I already spoiled it. The next move, got some kicking. So we here, lace kick, curtsy, squat, and heel kick, squat. One more time, slow. I want you to kick through your toes and give me curtsy lunge. Now come into squat and then give me a heel kick and squat again. So lace kick, curtsy, Squat and heel kick, squat, toe kick. Okay. Yeah, you need to think about this a little bit. I tend to add another squat, which is not supposed to be there. Come on. Lace kick, curtsy, squat, heel kick, squat, lace kick, curtsy. Squat, heel kick, squat, and again. You don't need to go high. This is all about form. And go for 20 repetitions on each side. You're gonna feel the burn. Great. Are you already feeling your thighs, your butt, and your glute? I hope you do. I feel it. Okay. And late heel kick. Toe kick. Curtsy. Squat. Heel kick. Squat. Whew. One more time. This side. Whew. Great. Shake it out. Oh, my nose. Breathe. Keep on moving. Just 
dig your heel a little on the floor. Tiny little heel dig. We want to do the same thing on the other side. Starting with the right leg leading. So, we're here. Lace kick, curtsy, squat, heel kick, squat, lace kick, curtsy. It would have been easier to do this lace kick and then come for a squat. But I didn't want to go easy. To me, it was important to design this workout to be a challenge. Lace kick, curtsy, heel kick, squat, lace kick, curtsy, squat, heel kick. Great job. Woo! I'm out of breath. I'm totally with you here. Great. I think I lost it. <laughs> Just keep on going. Never mind. Oh yes, I'm, my thighs are burning. Especially the standing leg. Squat. Heel kick. Lace kick. Oh. Come on, hold on tight. Don't give up. We're having two more. Okay, last one. Squat. Ah, oh. shake it out. Heel digs. My nose is itchy. You can sweat as running into it. <laughs> oh, okay. Take a breather. Next move. Again, we're working our thighs. Come into a warrior two pose. Like that. Don't use your arms. I want you to come into a side elbow knee crunch. Here. Now come down and arms are really out to a T with your, with your torso. Up, rotate up, come up, side elbow knee crunch, get down. And here, crunch. Crunch your knee into your elbow. Get your knee high. And get low, as low as you can. If you can touch the floor here, it would be great. If you cannot, that's okay. Go as deep as you feel comfortable, but be sure to challenge yourself. But if you do have pain, some angle or some specific move, reduce or skip. Beautiful. We're having four more. I think I miscounted anyway, but it's either good or bad for you. <laughs> Last one. Great job. Let's do this on the other side. Come here into Warrior Two Pose with art arms. Get low. Reach your toe, reach down to your toe with your hand. Other hand reach to the ceiling. Now, ah. now come up and side elbow knee crunch. Get down, get low. As low as you feel comfortable. But like I said before, challenge yourself. Number five. Six. Seven. Hey, how are you doing? You don't have to go as quick as I am, okay? But be sure to make 20 repetitions.
Great job. You're doing a great job. As long as you're with me here, come on, give me five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Great. For the next exercise, we need a pair of dumbbells. So grab yourself a lighter or heavier one, depending on your fitness level and depending on your daily form. That's also always an important factor. You can also use your body weight only. That's totally fine. You will work your muscles as well. Now I want you to come into a deadlift position, but without your back heel leaving the floor. Okay, so that's the only difference to a normal deadlift. So now once you come down, back heel is on the floor, and I want you to come down, back is flat. Touch your dumbbells down, come up, and I forgot something, and roll your elbows back, okay? Come down, elbow back row. Three, four, really make sure that your back heel is on the floor. You're using your front leg to lift you back up. Press up through the heel of your front foot. You're working your abs here, you're working your thighs. Such a great exercise, especially with, a, with that elbow roll here. You are also working your posture muscles and your triceps. Come down, angled knee, and stand up, and keep the front leg is straight with that elbow. You will. We're going to five more. Four, three, two, last one. Great. Same thing on the other side, of course. Press your back heel in through the floor really strong. Soften your front, front knee. So come down, get, get low, back is flat, abs are tight. Now roll back, front leg straight. Two, come on, count with me. Three, four, we're going for 20, right? Five, three, don't let your shoulders drop with your dumbbells down to the floor. I want your shoulders to be strong. I want your back to be flat. Nine, abs tight. When you raise yourself up through your heel, 10 more. Nine, eight, ooh, seven, six, Five, <laughs> four, three, two, last one. Great job. Drop your dumbbells. Wipe off your sweat. You should have some. Ah, great job. So what we're gonna do now is one last move. And it's going to be a little bit quick. So boost your heart rate. Not that we are having a low heart rate right now, but mine is really pumping. So yours should be too. So I want you to come into a lunge position. Jab down, turn to the side and jab down. So go quick. Three, four, five. Abs tight. Don't slouch your back. I don't want you to get like this. I want you to stay strong and with a strong back, flat back, open chest. If you want, you can hop this. If you really want to add more cardio and more challenge to that, you can also add more challenge to it by grabbing lighter dumbbells and jabbing down into your foot. Give me four more. Three, 
two. Last one. Shake it out. Great, that was the first round. Let's go for the second round. Remember what we started with with the first round? We had a side press. We're gonna come to the front first. So circle your arms up, breathe in, press your palms together down to the chest, sink down into a narrow squat. Circle your arms back up, press your palms back together and down to your chest, and now touch your knee to your elbow, touch your elbow to your knee, sorry, and now raise up your knee and come back. Breathe. Three. Six. Seven. Stay strong. Eight. Nine. Ten. Really squeeze your abs. Squeeze them back to your spine. Feel your obliques working here a lot. Seven more. Six more. Five more. Come on, count with me. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Take out your arms, just for a sec. Come to the other side. Narrow feet, circle your arms up. Lengthen up through your fingertips. Press your palms together down to your chest, sink into a narrow squat. Circle your arms back up, breathe in. Exhale, calm down with your hands. Now touch your elbow down to your knee and raise your opposite knee. Three. Three. Balance is a very big issue here. Half time. So Focus on the spot somewhere. Go as quick or as slow as you need to. Listen to your body. Get as low as you can. Give me three more. Two more. Last one. Great. First move, second round. Great. So next one, remember we had the shoulder shrug with the sumo squat. So I want you to come here, point your toes out to the side, touch your hands to your thighs. Shoulder shrug, knee lift, shoulder shrug, curtsy. No, I'm going to start again. We want to start with the side knee lift. So you're here. Come into a sumo squat right. Step right into a sumo squat and start with the shoulder shrug with the side that you step in to that squat. Other side. Curtsy, touch down, side knee lift. Come on. This is low impact, I can tell you, but we're really kicking our butts here. We're really firing up our metabolism, we're firing up our muscles, we're really burning calories and fat. And not just doing the intervals and doing the exercise itself, we are burning calories even when we rest after this, at least 48 hours.
Oh yes, my thighs, especially my inner thigh, my quad. Whew. I don't know how much we are here. I forgot counting. But depending on my fatigue, it should be now close to the end. Come on, give me one more each side, right? Woo! Great job. Shake out your thighs. Great job. The next one is a chair pose with a touchdown in the back lunge. Catch your breath. If you need a little longer to catch your breath again, press pause. But during the break, I want you to keep on moving. It's either here with the walk in place, with the heel dig, which I prefer, just to mix it all up. Okay, so let's go for the fourth move here in the second round. Feet are close together, come into chair pose with V arms, back lunge with touchdown. Step back, step up into a low chair pose with V arms again, and back lunge with the other leg and touchdown. And go quick. Half time. Only yes. <laughs> oh, come on. Count with me. Nine. Count down. Eight. Seven. Six. Abs tight. Five. Four. Three. Two, last one, great job, shake it out, catch your breath. This is the fifth move of the second round and I want you to come here into a lace kick, then come step at, back into curtsy, squat, heel kick other side with the other leg, squat. Lace kick other leg again, curtsy, squat, heel kick other leg, squat, lace kick. Got this? Come on, you got this. I know you can do this. You will stay with me, I'm sure you will. Because you will get results here. Only if you stay with me. Let's see, squat, heel kick, squat, lace kick, squat, uh, curtsy, squat, heel kick. Great. Well, we're having five more now. Five, count with me, count down. This is four. Three. I know my glutes are burning too. Number two. Last one. And that was only the right side. Catch your breath. Let's go for the other side. Lace kick, curtsy other side. Squat, heel kick other side. Squat, lace kick here. 
Okay, come on. Give me a little speed here. It takes coordination, it takes a little bit of practice to get these sequences, or the sequence of these moves all in one and into a fluent, fluent flow. But that's okay. You work on it, you get stronger, you work on it, you get quicker. Lace kick, curtsy, squat, heel kick. Woo. It's half time. Oh gosh. <laughs> Woo. Why did I do this? We're having seven more. Six more. Five. Woo. Four. Oh. My glutes. Woo. Two more. Last one. Woo. Squat. Come up. Breathe. <laughs> oh. Great job. Okay. We're having three more moves. And then we should be done with this workout. We should all be a sweaty mess. Okay, so I want you to come here into side elbow knee crunch. Give me side elbow knee crunch. Come down to warrior two. Pose with your legs and spread your arms wide. One down to the foot, one up to the ceiling. Press up. And get down. Number four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Come on, half time. Come on, stay with me. Eight. Seven. Six, five, you can do this, four, three, two, last one, great, you want to do the same thing on the other side of course, so start here with the side elbow knee crunch, step into a warrior two, get down, two, Half time. Give me five more. Five. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Great job. Grab your dumbbells. We're going for the deadlift with the back heel on the floor. If you want, you can use your body weight only and skip no edit weight. But if you want the challenge, grab a weight that suits your fitness form. I want you to press your back heel really into the floor. Keep your front heel, your front knee soft. Now get down, get low to the front knee, with the front leg. Reach your dumbbells down to your foot, 
with a flat back and your abs tight. Now row back. Keep your back heel pressed into the, onto the floor. Try to get as low as you can so that your torso is parallel to the floor on your lowest point. <laughs> Every time I look into the camera, I look at you, I tip over because I lose my balance. Really press your heel back. Feel your shin working too. Press yourself up through your front heel. Feel it in your glutes of your front leg. Last two, last one. Go and change sides. Let's not lose any time here. Soft knee, get low. Back heel on the floor. Two. Abs tight. Squeeze your glutes, half time. Try not to let your shoulders drop with your arms down. Try to keep them up and strong. Now we're having five more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Great job. <laughs> Drop your dumbbells. And we want to come here into that lunge with a jab down and turn over to another the other side, jab and lunge. So you here, jab down, turn to the side and jab. Okay? One, two, hop or just turn. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. So that was it. We want to come here and start with a cool down and stretch the same thing as we did during the warm up. So we're here, side lunge, stretch out during the thigh, turn to the side, stretch your quad, drop your back knee on the floor, almost to the floor, crescent pose, run this lunge stretch, and turn to the side to the front, grab your toe, Grab your foot, I mean, other side. Now roll yourself up one little bit of time. Shoulders rest and side lunge. We are all a sweaty mess here. Or we should be at least. Now grab your foot. Walk to the other side, grab the other foot. Come center, roll yourself up one little bit of time. One more time, side lunge. Really stretch. Turn to your turn, turn to a lunge. Drop your back knee almost to the floor. Great, now I want you to raise your arms up, crescent pose. Feel the stretch through your quad and your abs. Now both hands to the floor, run this lunge, stretch, rotate, and twist up with your butt, that back arm, follow with your eyes, now I want you to turn to the front, touch your foot with both hands, other side, roll up one little bit of time, 
side lunge, other side. Really stretching in your body here. Turn to the side, come into a lunge. Drop your back knee almost to the floor. Raise your arms up. Come down with your palms. to the floor, roll yourself up one little bit of time. How much you come into a warrior two position? Pulse, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I want you to come to a forward stretch. Hold that forward stretch. Lengthen through your hip, through your fingertips, and through your back heel, which is really pressing. Into the floor, very strong. Now come into triangle pose. Try to keep the hips stuck. Get as low as you feel comfortable. Touch your ankle. Come up to your shin, wherever you feel comfortable. Raise up. Use your lifting arm. Abs tight, really tight. Tuck your knee into your spine. more. Last one. Turn your toes to the front and now turn your left toe to the side. Come to warrior two pose and pause. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now give me a forward stretch and hold that here. Really lengthen through your fingertips, out from your heel of your back foot and out of your hip here. Great, now come into triangle pose. Try to get as low as you feel comfortable, like I said before. Try to keep your hips stacked. Reach your upper arm up to the ceiling and follow this up. Now which you reach and lift up into your lifting arm. Woo! Walk out this knee here. This one. Keep it soft. Great. Give me two more. Last one. Stage up. What I want you to do now is I want you to cluster your hands behind your back. I want you to come to your never squat. Sink low. Now I want you to roll your arms over your head and down. Feel the stretch all over your back, your lower back especially. Give yourself a great stretch in your posture muscles. Slowly release your clustered hands. Come to the floor, touch both palms to the floor if you can. If you cannot, that's okay. Just stay here, soften your knees as you need so that you can touch down. Grab your ankles if you want. Fold your face into your knees. Now release your ankles with your hands and look up with a flat back. Fold back into your knees again. Grab your ankles. Release your ankles. Look up with a flat back. One more time here. Now. Drop your hands to the floor and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Breathe. Shoulders last. Great job. Thanks for working out with me here today with this fun workout. And really, it was a challenge to go through all these moves, and especially for the second round here. And with, for 20 wave rotations for each exercise, that was great. I'm so proud that you stuck with me to the end. And I hope that you join me in one of my next challenging workout again. Subscribe to my channel on YouTube or like me on Facebook. I'm looking forward to sweat with you again in one of my next workouts. Take care. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See you soon. Bye-bye.